click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video we are going to see an important application of differential equation that is called as exponential growth or decay. Sometimes in real time cases we cannot find the exact value. If I say a population in a city is increasing, so if the initial population is say 10,000, what is the population after two years? So that becomes a very critical problem. So in such cases, studying the different types of exponential increase or decrease, we can find the exact answer or the exact population using differential equation. <music> The quantity of a substance, see either population, can either increase or decrease. Most of the time it increases only. Now let us assume that y be the amount of a substance at any time t. Now this y, we are taking it as an amount of substance. Now this substance can be anything. Regarding it may be a population or it may be a number of bacteria. Then dy by dt will represent rate of change of y with respect to time t. Now this rate of change can be either positive or increasing or negative that is decreasing. But remember friends this rate will be directly proportional to the original substance present at that time. If I say we have two cases. In the first case we have population of 10,000 and in the second case we have a population of 20,000. It is but obvious that the rate of increase of population will be in second case. So whenever we say a change in y with respect to time t that will be equal or that will be proportional to the original population or the original quantity. So we have taken dy by dt as directly proportional to y. Now let us remove the sign of proportionality and give it a constant. So we have written dy by dt is equal to ky where k is the constant of proportionality. Remember whenever we have an increase we are going to write plus k and whenever we have a decrease in case of dk we are going to take it as minus k. So by framing such problems we can directly find the population after a particular given time. Now let us see the case of decay. In case of decay the best example can be a radioactive substance. We know that a radioactive substance after a certain interval of time it mass decreases that is we say it disintegrates right. So if I say we have a radioactive substance and its quantity is y at a time t. Then we can say the change in mass with respect to time t like dy by dt is directly proportional to its original mass y. Now to remove this proportionality sign we are going to write it here as minus k as the mass is decreasing but not increasing. So you should remember that whenever we see a decay case in that the constant of proportionality will be negative. Once our differential equations are framed we can further solve this by directly using variable separable form. I hope friends you have understood this video. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.